Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to connect TikTok Pixels to your WordPress website. Now, for those who don't know, TikTok Pixel is basically a piece of code that you can place on your website that allows you to share websites events with TikTok. With any of our TikTok business tools, the pixels can help you measure traffic and your website, measure ad campaign performance, optimize your campaigns and find new customers. Basically, TikTok Pixel is going to be able to read everything that's happening on your websites. For example, if there is someone who's clicking on your page or maybe they're buying your product, they're checking out your product and stuff like that. With TikTok Pixel, you will be able to track on those things that is happening on your website and it's going to be very useful for your conversions. In order if you so if you would like to know the conversions of maybe your ads or any campaigns that you've created, you can track it easier with TikTok Pixel. The first thing you will have to create when you're trying to connect TikTok Pixels with your WordPress is you will have to create a TikTok Ads account or TikTok Business account. You cannot use TikTok Pixels solely with your regular TikTok account. So your personal TikTok account will not work with this. So if you haven't created your business TikTok account or your ads TikTok account, you can just go to ads.tiktok.com and then you can create your business account from there. If you have already created your business account, you'll be able to take a look at a dashboard that will look like this. So in this dashboard, you'll be able to see your daily spending. You can see in the sections, it says today spent. If you created some kind of campaign or maybe an ads, you'll be able to see on the spending that you've created daily. And here you'll be able to see the overview trends of your campaigns or your ads. You'll be able to see the cost, the impression, the click per destination, as well as the conversion. And if you have any campaigns, again, you will be able to see it's over here, or you can also see the gender data of your audience, the placement, the operating system, etc. And those are the things that you will be able to see if you create your TikTok Ads Manager. Meanwhile, if you would like to take a look at the pixels part, all you have to do is you're going to go to the navigation bar on the top of your screen. You'll be able to see on this tools options right here, you'll be able to see some other options such as audience, creative management and settings. And we will want to go to the events under management. So go ahead and click on events. And over here, you have several options again that you can choose. You can choose to create an app event, offline or web events. And this is the one that we're going to work with for today. Go ahead to click on manage on web events. So I already have an event going on for me. And this is the things that you will want to create first before we go to the next step. If you haven't have your events yet, you can go ahead and click on create and then you can click on whichever you want. The one that I have right here is a custom audience. Once you created that, all you have to do is click on your event. And then right here, you'll want to click on at event and click on manual setup. And then TikTok are going to bring you into the sections right here. And the first thing you will have to do is to build your funnel events. So this is what it says about the funnels. The funnel should reflect the user journey on your website. All steps for setups are optional and skippable, but can enhance reporting and empower your ads delivery strategy. Now, the first thing we will have to do is to create a funnel. And on this funnel, you will be able to build whether it's your awareness, your consideration, as well as your conversion. So the things that originally came with my funnel is a view content for my awareness. And then I have add payment info, initiate checkout, as well as search and add to cart for my consideration. And for my conversion, I have the complete payment. So all of this are totally customizable you can always move one things to another place for example if i want to add the payment info as awareness i can just simply drag it into my awareness box and i can also create a custom event if i want i can name it to however i want it to be for example i have an additional event that might happen in 
my website outside of TikTok, I can just type it out and create a new one so that if it happens on my other website, TikTok is going to be able to read it as one of the event for my conversion or something like that. Once you've done customizing your funnels, you can go ahead and click on next. Again, just like how we read earlier, actually lots of steps are skippable. You can just skip it if you want, but adding more details into this parts right here is actually going to make it easier for TikTok pixels to read and to create and deliver better data for your conversion. Now, the next thing we have to do is to select event setup method. And the one that we're going to work with for now is this, the custom code right here. So go ahead and click on this. I'm not going to use the events API. I'm just going to use the custom code. So I'm going to go ahead and click just on that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And then you're going to have to select on the event parameters. So you can take on whatever you will need. I'm just going to leave it just as it is. And you can also choose on the customer's information parameters. So it says that these things are needed to match web events to TikTok users. This information is hashed and shared with TikTok to attribute more conversion to your ads and improve ads targeting. Go ahead and click on next. And over here, we're finally going to be able to get our custom code. So go ahead and click on view instructions. And here is the code that we're going to work with. So go ahead and copy on the pixel code. And then here it also shows that all we have to do is just to paste the pixel code in the header sections of your website. And then it says that add the code between the tag for every page on your website. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to WordPress. Right here, I already have my WordPress website. If you haven't have one, you can go ahead and create it. So the pixel is going to be able to see on every events that's going on on your website. Doesn't necessarily have to be WordPress, you can also work with other website, but for this tutorial, I'm going to focusing just on how the TikTok pixels and WordPress will going to work side by side. So on your WordPress, you'll be able to see a lot of options on your navigation menu on the left side of your screen. There are stats, upgrades, mailboxes, posts, media, pages, comment, etc. And if you scroll all the way down, you will find this plugins option. So go ahead and click on plugins. So here we're going to want to search for a plugins called WP code. Go ahead and type on it on the text box and you will be able to see some of the result, but the WP code plugins that we're going to use is this one's right here. Next, once you get on the WP code, what you're going to do is you're going to click on install and activate. All right, now it's done. Now we're going to click on manage plugin. And here you'll be able to see on all of the plugins that you can use for your WordPress. Now you're going to want to scroll all the way down and then you're going to find this WP code light and then you're going to want to click on code snippets. Once you got on your code snippets, what you're going to do is you're going to want to click on add new, and then you're going to want to click on the add your custom code. Go ahead and click your snippet. And here you're going to want to paste on the TikTok pixels that we have already copied earlier. So go ahead and click on control V for pasted. And once you've copied all of the code, what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and right here, you want to make sure that it's on the site white header. And then you can actually choose on whichever type device you will want it to be. And then before you save it, you're actually going to make sure that this spot right here is active. Once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save snippet. And as you can see, now our snippet is already created. And that is it. That is how you can add TikTok pixels to your WordPress website. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.